If you're preparing for a networking interview, you've likely come across the term BGP, Border Gateway Protocol. It's a complex and critical topic in the networking field that employers often quiz candidates on. Our video, Top 25 BGP Interview Questions and Answers is designed to help you review and prepare for such questions. 1. What is BGP and what is its primary purpose? BGP, or Border Gateway Protocol, is a protocol that manages how packets are routed across the internet through the exchange of routing and reachability information between edge routers. The primary purpose of BGP is to ensure that all routers in the network have a consistent view of the network topology. This is accomplished by establishing a TCP connection between BGP peers and exchanging network reachability information. This information is then used to construct a graph of the network, which can be used to determine the best path for data to travel from one network to another. BGP is essential for maintaining the scalability and performance of the internet. 2. Can routers on different subnets become BGP neighbors? BGP, or Border Gateway Protocol, does allow routers on different subnets to become neighbors. This feature can be particularly useful in scenarios where two routers are not directly connected, but need to exchange routing information. This capability is facilitated by the BGP protocol's ability to establish TCP connections over IP, which can traverse multiple routers and networks, regardless of subnet boundaries. It's important to note that while this is technically possible, it may not always be the best practice depending on the specific network design and security considerations. 3. What are the main features of BGP? BGP or Border Gateway Protocol offers numerous key features. BGP provides path vector protocol. It can be utilized for routing among autonomous systems or domains. It's a protocol that scales to support a vast network due to its incremental update feature. The path attribute provides BGP with flexible and versatile routing capabilities. BGP can provide load balancing using multiple paths. It's also able overall stability and security. BGP can influence inbound or outbound routing by manipulating path attributes. Root reflectors and confederations in BGP can help to alleviate the need for a full mesh. BGP can carry a vast amount of different routing policies for each autonomous system. 4. Explain the difference between eBGP and IBGP. The distinction between eBGP and IBGP lies in their application and behavior. eBGP, as its name implies, facilitates communication between routers in different autonomous systems, thus forming a bridge between separate entities. This communication is essential for internet function as it allows for data routing between numerous networks. On the other hand, IBGP operates within a single autonomous system. Despite all routers being part of the same entity, they may not be directly connected. IBGP helps in sharing routing information between these indirectly connected routers within the autonomous system. 5. What is an autonomous system, AS, in the context of BGP? An autonomous system, AS, within the context of Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, refers to a network controlled by a single network operator. This operator could be an internet service provider, ISP, a large organization or a university. Each AS has a unique number assigned by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, IANA, known as the AS number. The purpose of an AS within BGP is to enable cooperation and communication between different network operators. BGP utilizes its numbers to define routing policies and maintain a clear path of internet connectivity. 6. How does BGP establish a session between peers? BGP establishes a connection between peers through a process known as ATCP three-way handshake. Firstly, it initiates a connection with a SYN, synchronize, packet, which is sent from the source router to the destination router. The destination router then acknowledges this request by sending a SYNACK, synchronized acknowledgement, packet back to the source router. The source router then sends an ACK, acknowledgement, packet to the destination router, completing the handshake and establishing the peer connection. This sequence guarantees that both routers are ready to communicate and have allocated the necessary resources. This process ensures reliable, ordered delivery of data, essential for BGP's function. 7. What are the BGP path attributes and how are they used? BGP path attributes are properties that BGP attaches to each prefix to determine the best path to a destination. They provide a flexible and granular way to control traffic flow. There are four types, well-known mandatory, well-known discretionary, optional transitive, and optional non-transitive. Well-known mandatory attributes must be recognized by all BGP routers and include AS underscore path and next underscore HOP. AS underscore path is a record of all the autonomous systems a route has traversed. Next underscore HOP indicates the next hop IP address to root packets. Well-known discretionary attributes, like local underscore PREF, are recognized by all BGP routers but do not have to be present in every update. Optional transitive attributes, such as community, may not be recognized by all BGP routers. If a router doesn't recognize it, it will mark but not delete the path. Lastly, optional non-transitive attributes, like MED, multi-exit discriminator, are not required to be passed to other BGP peers. 8. Explain the BGP decision process for selecting the best path. 
The Border Gateway Protocol BGP, decision process for selecting the best path entails a sequence of procedures. BGP starts by removing paths that are ineligible for selection. It then proceeds to compare the path attributes of the remaining paths, starting with the highest priority attribute. If one path stands out as superior in terms of the attribute being compared, it is selected as the best path. If multiple paths are still contenders, BGP moves to the next priority attribute. This process continues until only one path remains. The specific order of attributes compared varies, but generally includes local preference, as path length, origin code, MED, EBGP over IBGP, and oldest path. 9. What is the purpose of the BGPMED attribute? The BGPMED, multi exit discriminator, attribute serves a vital role in directing outbound traffic. It's an optional non transitive attribute used to suggest a preferred path into an autonomous system, AS. When multiple entry points are available, the MED value guides the decision making process. The path with the lowest MED value is considered the best and thus chosen for data transmission. This attribute is typically used when the same as is connected to other ASs through multiple links. It allows for increased control over incoming traffic by indicating the optimal path to external networks. It's important to note that the BGP MED attribute doesn't influence the traffic flowing out of an IS, but directs the traffic entering it. 10. How does the BGP Local Preference attribute work? The BGP Local Preference attribute is a well-known discretionary path attribute. This means that it is recognized by all BGP routers but might not be present in every route update. The local preference attribute is used to select an exit point from the autonomous system, AS. The BGP local preference attribute operates by designating an exit point from the autonomous system. It functions within the confines of an autonomous system, meaning it isn't transmitted to other autonomous systems during BGP updates. The default setting for this attribute is 100, but it can be adjusted to a value anywhere between 0 and 4,294,967,295. In terms of preference, a higher local preference value is regarded as superior to a lower one. This attribute has a significant role in the BGP best path selection process. If one path has a more substantial local preference than another, the path with the greater local preference is chosen. 11. What is a BGP root reflector and why is it used? A border gateway protocol, BGP, root reflector, RR, is an optimization mechanism used in large-scale networks. Its primary function is to reduce the amount of IBGP peering relationships within an autonomous system, AS. Due to the nature of BGP, each router within an IS needs to maintain a peering relationship with every other router. This can quickly become unmanageable in large networks, leading to a significant increase in network complexity and resource consumption. ABGPRR mitigates this challenge by allowing certain routers to act as reflectors, sharing root information with other routers. This eliminates the need for a full mesh of peering relationships, simplifying network management and conserving resources. The RR does not modify the root and simply passes the information, preserving the attributes of the original root. 12. Explain the concept of BGP communities. BGP communities is an attribute that provides a way to group destinations in a certain community and apply routing decisions according to those communities. It's an optional transitive attribute, meaning it can be passed along to other BGP peers. The attribute consists of a set of four octets. The value can be divided into two parts, the higher order two octets and the lower order two octets. These values are often represented as as value format, but it's not mandatory. By tagging routes with a certain community value, the network operator can apply certain policies to those routes. For instance, a network operator might tag routes with a community value to indicate that those routes should be advertised to specific BGP peers and not others. This provides a flexible way for controlling the propagation of routes in a BGP network. 13. What is BGP route dampening and when is it used? BGP route dampening is a mechanism used in BGP to suppress unstable routes. When a route fluctuates frequently between an available and unavailable state, it is considered unstable. This can lead to high CPU usage in routers due to the constant recalculation of routes. To prevent this, BGP implements route dampening. This technique temporarily suppresses route advertisements for routes that are frequently changing. The suppression times are based on a penalty system. The more unstable a route is, the longer it is suppressed. This system helps to maintain the stability of the routing system by preventing unnecessary updates. 14. How does BGP handle loop prevention? BGP, Border Gateway Protocol, handles loop prevention through the use of specific attributes such as the AS underscore path and next underscore HOP. The AS underscore path attribute is a sequence of autonomous system numbers through which the route has passed. If BGP sees its own AS number in the AS underscore path of a route, it will discard that route to avoid a routing loop. In addition, the next underscore HOP attribute indicates the next hop IP address to reach the destination. If the next underscore HOP attribute is unreachable, the route will not be used which also helps in preventing loops. This way, BGP ensures loop-free interdomain routing between autonomous systems. 
15. What is the significance of the BGP as underscore path attribute? The AS underscore path attribute in BGP is essential in routing decisions. It carries information about the path a route has traversed in terms of autonomous systems, AS. When a route advertisement passes through an AS, the AS number is added to the AS underscore path attribute. This attribute helps in loop prevention, since BGP will reject any route that contains its own AS number in the AS underscore path. Additionally, it aids in path selection, as BGP uses the AS underscore path length to determine the shortest path to a destination. The path with the fewest as numbers is usually selected as the best one. 16. Explain the BGP next underscore HOP attribute and its importance. The BGP next underscore HOP attribute is an essential element of Border Gateway Protocol, BGP. Its main role is to indicate the next hop IP address that should be used to reach certain destinations. Essentially, it provides the path for data packets, directing them towards their intended target. When a BGP router sends updates to its peers, it includes the next underscore HOP attribute in these updates. This attribute signifies the IP address of the edge router in the network from which the data packets should be forwarded. It plays a vital role in the routing process as without it, data packets would not know which way to go to reach their final destination. 17. What is BGP confederations and when would you use them? BGP confederations refer to a technique for scaling the operation of BGP in a large autonomous system, AS. They are used to reduce the number of IBGP connections within an AS. With BGP confederations, the AS is divided into several smaller, internal sub-ASs, each with its own identifier. These sub-ASs then form IBGP connections with each other and EBGP connections with external ASs. You would use them in a situation where you have a large number of routers in your as in managing all the IBGP connections becomes complex. By dividing the AS into smaller, more manageable sub-ASs, BGP confederations can greatly simplify network management and improve scalability. They also provide a level of protection from root propagation issues, as problems in one sub-AS are less likely to affect others. 18. How does BGP contribute to internet peering arrangements? BGP plays a crucial role in internet peering arrangements by facilitating the exchange of routing information between different internet service providers, ISPS. Peering is a process where two ISPS reciprocally provide access to each other's network at no charge. BGP is used to establish and maintain these peering relationships by enabling routers on both networks to share information about the routes they have available. This allows data to be routed efficiently from one network to another, keeping the internet interconnected. BGP is essential for this process as it is designed to handle a large number of routes and changes in network conditions, ensuring stable and reliable connections between different networks. 19. What are some common challenges in BGP peering and how can they be mitigated? There can be several challenges faced when implementing BGP peering. Misconfigurations and compatibility issues can lead to instabilities. This can be mitigated by employing careful testing and validation before deployment. Network congestion and high latency can degrade performance. The use of quality of service, QoS, and traffic engineering techniques can help manage congestion and improve performance. Security threats such as prefix hijacking and man-in-the-middle attacks can compromise the integrity of BGP sessions. This can be mitigated through the use of security protocols such as RPKI and BGP SEC. In addition, regular monitoring and logging can aid in identifying and resolving issues early. 20. Explain the concept of BGP root aggregation. BGP root aggregation, also known as root summarization, is a technique used in Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, to reduce the number of routes that are advertised by combining them into a single route. This is done by taking a group of prefixes with the same next hop and summarizing them into one less specific prefix. This is particularly helpful in reducing the size of BGP routing tables, thus conserving network resources and improving network performance. In terms of implementation, BGP route aggregation can be done manually or automatically. Manual aggregation involves the network administrator configuring the router to aggregate specific routes. Automatic aggregation, on the other hand, is done by the router itself and is based on the network's routing policy. 21. What is BGP route filtering and how is it implemented? BGP route filtering serves as a crucial function in managing and controlling the distribution of routing updates. It assists in avoiding unnecessary traffic, enhancing network performance, and maintaining network security by preventing unwanted routes from being propagated. BGP filtering can be implemented in several ways. Access control lists, ACLS, is a popular method. They are used to filter routes based on a variety of criteria such as IP addresses or protocol type. Route maps provide a highly flexible and powerful way to implement route filtering. They can match on a wide range of attributes and can set attributes, making them useful for complex scenarios. 22. How does BGP handle traffic engineering in network? BGP manages traffic engineering by controlling the flow of data through a network. The primary goal is to achieve optimal resource utilization and maximize network performance. BGP uses several methods for this, including path manipulation and attribute tweaking. 
One of the primary ways BGP handles traffic engineering is by selecting the best route for data packets. BGP routes can be selected based on various path attributes, such as AS underscore path, next underscore HOP, and multi underscore exit underscore disk, MED, among others. Also, BGP can use route aggregation to simplify network topology and reduce the amount of routing information that needs to be propagated. This can help improve network performance and manageability. In doing so, BGP ensures efficient use of network resources, enhancing the performance and reliability of network connections. 23. What is the purpose of BGP timers and what are the different types? The Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, timers are used to monitor and maintain the stability of a BGP connection between network peers. They are essential for detecting failures and initiating recovery actions. The two main types of BGP timers are the hold down timer and the keep alive timer. The appropriate configuration and tuning of these timers are critical for optimal BGP operations, as they balance between fast failure detection and avoiding unnecessary flapping due to temporary network issues. These timers should be configured according to the network size, stability, and performance requirements. 24. Explain the concept of BGP split horizon. BGP split horizon, also known as BGP root reflection, is an essential feature in the BGP, border gateway protocol. This concept is used to prevent information from routing loops among BGP routers within the same autonomous system, AS. It works by preventing a BGP router from advertising a route back to the other router from which it was learned. In other words, if a route is learned from an internal peer, it does not advertise it back to the same peer. This process helps in reducing unnecessary network traffic, optimizing the routing operations within AS, and maintaining network stability. 25. What is BGP TTL security and how does it enhance network security? BGP TTL security, also known as GTSM, Generalized TTL Security Mechanism, is an important security feature that is implemented in a network to stop attacks that originate from outside the network. This mechanism is based on the fact that, in most cases, the IP packets originating from outside the network have a time to live, TTL, value of less than or equal to 1. BGP TTL security leverages this fact by rejecting all incoming IP packets with a TTL value of less than a certain threshold, usually set to 255. This effectively filters out any malicious traffic that originates from outside the network, significantly enhancing the network security. We hope this guide to the top 25 BGP interview questions and answers has been helpful in your preparation. It's essential to be well prepared and confident when facing an interview panel, and we trust that with this information you are one step closer to acing your upcoming interview. Keep in mind that while these questions are quite common, it's also important to understand the broader context of BGP to answer any unexpected questions. If you found this video informative and useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Good luck!